But this material will get you ready to do Lewis structures. We're not going to go into the fullness of uh, Lewis structures right now. First, let me tell you about the terms. Now, you've probably heard of oxidation state before from an earlier chapter. Oxidation state is when you have a charge assigned to an atom in a molecule, assuming that the bonds in the, in the molecule are completely ionic. That's what we've been running on so far. Now we're going to deal with something called formal charge that helps us in Lewis. And this is where you take a look at a charge of an atom in a molecule and you figure that out assuming that electrons are shared equally or covalently bonded. So formal charge assumes covalence. And then charge really, to be specific with our terms, really should apply to the overall uh, charge based on the number of protons and electrons on a molecule. So for example, charge is minus 2 for those, this molecule, minus 1 for this one, minus 1 here, and minus 1 here. That's really charge. Now what's new for us is formal charge and we're going to go through all of these and figure out the formal charges. Formal charge is going to equal the column number in the periodic table minus the number of items around that molecule. Chlorine here, you're going to see seven items around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, look on your periodic table, you'll see chlorine in column seven. So because it's in column seven and there's seven items, the formal charge on this chlorine is going to be zero. Because all the other chlorines are the same, all the formal charges on those chlorines are going to be zero. Now let's look at the arsenic. Arsenic you'll see in your periodic tables in column 5. However, the number of items around it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's seven items around it. And so if you go 5 minus 7, you're going to get a negative 2 for arsenic. So let me get my pen here. This is a minus 2. I'm going to put the formal charge circled right next to the atom. Uh, I only write formal charges if it's a non-zero number. So you see I did not write it for chlorine. And now what you're going to notice, the sum of the formal charges for every atom is equal to the charge of the entire molecule. So 2 plus 0, 0, 0 is going to equal minus 2. Let's try the next uh, compound. Okay, iodine's in column 7. We've got three iodines here. Count the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items around it. It's in column seven. So this iodine will have a zero formal charge. Likewise, this one's identical. It'll have a zero formal charge. Let's take a look at the one in the center. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items around it. And so take seven minus eight. This one in the center will have a formal charge of negative one. So I'll put a minus right next to that iodine. Now notice what happens again. The sum of the formal charges will equal the overall charge, or 0 minus 1 plus 0 equals negative 1. Let's take a look at the next example. Nitrogen's in column 5, and you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 items around it. So that's 0 for its formal charge. Carbon is in column 4, and you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4 items around it, so that will have a zero formal charge. But for oxygen, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, and oxygen's in column six, so six minus seven. This oxygen will have a minus one, and the, uh, you'll see the sum of the individual formal charges will equal the overall charge of the molecule. Now let's do the last one. Hydrogen's in column one, uh, and there's one item around it, so it has a formal charge of zero. That's true for both hydrogens. The nitrogen's in column five, and there's one, two, three, four, five items around it. So five minus five, that'll be zero. Carbon's in column four, and there's one, two, three, four items around it. So the items match the, matches the column, that's zero. This oxygen's in column six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That matches, that has a formal charge of zero. And then finally this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's in column six, so it's actually over by one. 
it has a negative one formal charge, I'll put that right next to it. And again, the sum of the formal charges of each individual element equals the overall charge. Something to know about formal charges, the best formal charge would be zero. Um, plus or minus one, that's all right, that works. So these three are good. But a formal charge of negative two, or negative three, etc., or on the other side, plus two, plus three, plus four, etc., those would be too large. So this is not a great Lewis structure there on the top, um, but these ones are, are pretty good here, uh, down at the bottom.